This is a video about how I did my introduction. So I use Adobe Photoshop to create some layers, which I'll show you in a moment. And I used Adobe Premiere to do the editing. I use both of these because you can import layers into Adobe Premiere, which again, I'll show you. The background to start with. Now, um, that was a picture, 06269. Unfortunately, I deleted the original photo. I do have a video of this lift, and here it is. So there is the lift shaft, and you can see the ropes going down to the lift car there. I've got my image. I took the picture sideways as well, and this leads me to this image here. There is my background. Now you can kind of see the cables in the picture there, but as I said before, the original picture I deleted. So all I have now is this file. If I bring up some layers, all these layers are turned off. The original photo is the one at the bottom here. So if I click the eye, that disappears as well. So now I've got everything turned off. So I can bring these on individually. So there's the Mr. Matt and Mr. Che carriage. And I've got the words here. And I've got the ropes, the darkening of the rope of the ropes at the top. What did I do for that? I just made it dark. There you go. Makes the ropes dark at the top. So let's just turn all these layers off and bring on the main photo. And first of all, I need to explain about these ropes. Now here they are, but on uh, the uh, movie, these are animated, they move. To do that, what I had to do is, let's just look at the ropes only. These are really long. And they go to there. Now to do that was quite a manual process because what I had to do is bring up this. These were not the original ropes that went down to the lift. And I think originally there was five of them, but I cut some out. You notice these look exactly the same from top to bottom. And this would not be the case in the photo because this area up here will be really dark. I had to zoom in to the original photo and I had to find a bit of the cable which looked exactly the same. So let's just zoom out to um, no, probably this level really. Then I had to use this tool here and I had to cut out a part of the rope that matched. So I went down here and I think I went diagonal to keep the um, texture of the rope. And I went up to probably up here somewhere and I went down and that joins up. So there is a part of the cable that all look the same. So then what I had to do is copy it. Let's just turn off the main layer here. Let's just deselect that and now I do a paste and there is part of that rope and this makes a new layer. So I'm now on layer one, the ropes are on this layer. So I'm going to rename this to, um, I don't know, demo of rope. Okay, there it is. Let's zoom out of that a bit now. So there's my part of the rope, drag that down to here and I can make another layer containing the same rope. I didn't need to do that. All I need to do is press the shift key and the up arrow. Now I can make a longer rope. Now, if I join that up, it doesn't quite look right. I'm just going to zoom in. Now, where's my join gone? There it is. So there you are, you can see that's how I made the rope longer. And then what you can do is you can select both of these layers and you can do merge layers, and then they appear as one. So I had a quite a long process to make these ropes. And if I zoom all the way out, that's the little rope I did just with those two layers. I had to do this with these ropes here, but now I've got two layers joined together. Now what I can do is I can just duplicate that layer. So each time 
I am doubling my rope length. So now I've got two layers. Let's turn off the main ropes. Now we've got two layers. So it doesn't take that long to do. You can just keep doubling, merging. So there I've got one. Oh, I've got a little gap there now. But you get the idea. I'm just going to put that one in the bin for now. So these are my ropes. That's how I did my ropes. And this is how I got them so long as well. And don't forget, they go off the page. And that's how long they are. So now what I can do is I can animate these. So when it's moving at the start of the movie, I can then now move it up and it looks like the rope is moving. And then it can go all the way up and it gets to here and then it brings a carriage into the picture and then it slows down. I do the sounds and ding, 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 ding. And the Mr. Matt and Mr. Chaken appear. So that leads me to the Mr. Matt and Mr. Chay bit. So let's bring on the background image. Now, I'm not sure where these ropes should sit at the moment, but... Oh, I think that's perfect. There we go. Right, so this is the carriage layer. So on its own, it looks like that. Uh, the mister is a different layer. Um, there's a down arrow behind my M because my subject is lifts and must have a down arrow. And an up arrow, which I'll come to in a moment. So let's bring on the mat. There's a mat. And Mr. J. Um, the font for this, I think I did this in um, Pinnacle Studio 17. I think that was a font, and you can mess around with the shadows. And when I got what I wanted, I think I just did a screenshot of it, and I imported it and made a layer into um, Photoshop. But anyway, that's what I ended up with. This is not a font. This is actually a picture. And I cut it about and made new layers with it. So then we have our up arrow, which is embedded into the A of Matt. Let's have a look at that. There's the two arrows. Okay, there's the two arrows. And you can see also that they are transparent. That's because I've mucked around with them. I um, can't remember exactly how I did that now. Uh, I do an inner glow. I can't remember. I think these are actually um, picture files as well. But anyway, I made them transparent up and I use this tool here as well. Let me show you what this one does. So if I do a shape like that, oh, I'm going to need a new layer for the shape. And then I do this tool. I can then sh do some shading. So if I do red up here and then green down here. Where's my red? There it is. So I'm going from red to green and different shading options. I can do this. That's what the shading option does. But obviously I did light red to dark red. So that's my shading and you can also do to transparent as well. And there's different tools you can use. You can have um, a dot in the middle like that. So that's how I did my shading on the arrows anyway. Let's just delete that layer now so we don't need it. And deselect my shape there. That's how I did my arrows. So let's bring the layers back on again. Um, background layer. Um, the carriage. I've got the up and down. I've got Mr. Matt and Mr. Che. Now I need all these layers. That's quite important because these turn on one at a time when the chimes um, occur. When this is... When the... Uh, Mr. Matt and Mr. Che carriage arrives. And also we've got our ropes, don't forget them. Now, this looked, it didn't look very good at the top because the ropes go up into the darkness and they're still the same um, texture. So then what I did is I did this layer here to darken them. Now, as I've been moving my ropes around a bit, it's now in the wrong place, but there we go, that's where it overlaps. So now we have some ropes that go off into the darkness. And again, I think I've shown you this already. I'm just going to show you what the darkening bit looks like. There we go. I think for that, all I did is I went like this and I cut around the ropes. I made a new layer like this and I just called them, I just called it darkening. And then I just went to paint, paintbrush. I might have even used this actually. Yeah, I probably did. I probably went to like a grey to a white. And then I just went 
like that. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's turn that one off. I've just done it. That's how I did the darkening effect. Get rid of that one now, just a temporary layer just to show you. But that was the result. And I think I probably just copied the darkening area to another layer, to another layer, to another layer. And I lined them up with the ropes. So this is step one, really, to make all the layers that I need that I'm going to be using in Adobe Premiere. That was the finished result. Let's move to our next file now. I'm just going to close that. I'm not going to save it. We're going to move to this one here. And I've called this layers only, no movement. All I've done is, is I've just imported those Photoshop layers into Adobe Premiere. Here's Adobe Premiere. Here are the layers 